This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University, and today I wanted to talk about how you should stop gambling and start studying Bitcoin. You have limited time on Earth. You have limited time when it comes to interacting with the Bitcoin or crypto space. So how are you going to choose to spend that limited time? This is a really important question and can have far-reaching implications for where you end up in a decade from now. Path number one, ship coiner, alt coiner. Here's how to spend your day as a ship coiner. Watch lots of YouTube videos with soy boy open mouth thumbnails because those are always the ones with with the best information like this check crypto prices hundreds of times every day reverently study crypto slash fiat trading charts but make sure that you never measure long-term performance against btc because that might tell you something that could throw into question your decision to become a ship coiner also as a ship coiner every day you should scan the internet for the latest greatest coin that might pump try to get into that coin try not to get rugged try to get out with a quick profit pay a large short-term cap gains tax on that profit, then rinse and repeat. Trust me, this is exactly how billionaires are made. Make sure you also find a guru or online trading advisor who can tell you which crypto to buy, as well as providing you with trading signals as well. If they're hourly trading signals, that's even better because then you can really be glued to your screen. Make sure to never engage your own brain. Don't ever try to learn how markets work at a deeper level. Jump from rumor to rumor and keep chasing the latest fad. Trust other people to tell you what to do and what to think, because becoming rich actually has nothing whatsoever to do with thinking for yourself or developing real skills. It's all about high-frequency gambling while sitting in your pajamas. And if you get rugged, make sure you also go out and find a quote-unquote online recovery advisor whom you can pay to help you get your coins back. Don't let anyone tell you that almost all Bitcoin and crypto transac transactions can never be reversed, even though it's true that they cannot be reversed. Enjoy your ship coinery. It may not last long, but at least you'll get lots of dopamine hits along the way. Now that's one path you can take. There's a much better path as you can imagine. But before I cover that, I just ask you, if you're enjoying this video so far, to subscribe, like, comment, and share, especially subscribing is really important to help me with this channel's reach. Path number two is the path of a Bitcoiner. And if you prefer dopamine hits, over hard work. This path is not for you. Here's a day in the life of a Bitcoiner. Never checks the price, buys a chunk of BTC whenever free cash comes in, or does steady dollar cost averaging where you allocate a fixed US dollar, a fixed fiat amount that you buy every week or every month or something like this. A Bitcoiner keeps studying how Bitcoin works, understands the various incentives that protect Bitcoin, understands the differences between proof of work and proof of stake, understands what mining rigs, mining pools, nodes, XPubs, UTXOs are. And there's a lot of technical vo vocabulary here that I left out that you can learn. Understands the basics of public private key cryptography and what makes it so useful. Understands how and why various attacks on Bitcoins could succeed or fail. Learns how to set up a Blockstream Jade or cold card or other hardware wallet and learns how to connect this hardware wallet to Sparrow Wallet on a laptop or desktop, as I've talked about on this channel, or even using Nunchuck, which I hope to make a video about plays around with running a Bitcoin node on a laptop or using Umbral or Start9. A Bitcoiner understands how recovery seeds and passphrases work, understands the trade-offs between single sig and multi-sig. A Bitcoiner develops a personalized cold storage solution that works for him and that protects him and his Bitcoin against various attack vectors. A Bitcoin Bitcoiner knows how to wipe a hardware wallet and do a recovery, knows how to take one's Bitcoin anywhere in the world on short notice if necessary, knows how to reconstitute one's holdings in another jurisdiction using just free and open source software. A Bitcoiner knows how to move between the base layer and other layers like Lightning and Liquid. A Bitcoiner knows how to use non-custodial Lightning wallets like Phoenix. A Bitcoiner learns how to run a Lightning node, opens up some channels. A Bitcoiner knows how to buy non-KYC Bitcoin and knows how and when to coin join. So you can see how much there is to learn and how you're completely wasting your time if you're trading alts instead of building real world skills like this. A Bitcoiner also works hard at a day job earning fiat that can be converted into Bitcoin. A Bitcoiner looks for opportunities to earn Bitcoin directly through a job or a side hustle. A Bitcoiner learns how to verify software releases using GPG, understands how lightning, splicing, liquid, fediments work. And also a Bitcoiner hopefully spends lots of time outdoors, breathing fresh air, getting some sun, walking, jogging, weight training, lifting heavy things, preparing food at home with good ingredients and spending time with loved ones while unplugged from social 
media. And a Bitcoiner tries to spend every day becoming smarter, stronger, and also a better and more pleasant person to be around. If you're looking for a job in the Bitcoin space, I haven't mentioned this in a while, but Bitcoinerjobs.com is a great one. And don't think that these jobs are just for devs or highly technical people. I just happen to look up Swan's offerings here and you can scroll down and see that there's many technical and non-technical uh, jobs as well, onboarding specialist. These are remote jobs. You, have, you just have to be in North or South America, full-time jobs, and they all pay in Bitcoin, which is pretty cool to get paid directly in Bitcoin. So I'd really urge you, if you're living your life like an unhealthy ship coiner, I would urge you to stop gambling and start studying. Instead of wasting your time with gambling, with ship coins, with altcoins, learn how to buy Bitcoin and hold it on a hardware wallet. Learn how to wipe and recover that wallet. Be constantly re-examining, and if necessary, updating your Bitcoin cold storage setup to give yourself more and more security and more and more privacy. Practice moving your Bitcoin around, sending it to yourself, consolidating UTXOs, recovering your Bitcoin using just your seed or your seed and your passphrase. Stop wasting your time gambling and start studying. The Bitcoin revolution is here. Bitcoin has already won. You don't need to waste a lot of time looking for the next Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the next Bitcoin. Nothing else, no matter how cool its technology or its cryptography, will be able to catch up at this point. And Bitcoin has a thousand year reign ahead of it. Bitcoin has already won. Are you going to get on the winning team? Are you going to learn how to live on a Bitcoin standard and prepare for this future, which is coming very rapidly? Learn how to live on a Bitcoin standard as a self sovereign individual and not get herded into custodial solutions? Or are you going to keep jumping from coin to coin, hoping to find the next Bitcoin, quote unquote, the next Bitcoin, but never developing any real world skills or expertise and never building up that stash of Bitcoin that will continue to increase in purchasing power for the next thousand years. So even if you own zero Bitcoin today or a very, very small amount, it's not too late to start. We're all extremely, we're all still extremely early. So I'd urge you, especially as the weekend approaches, choose wisely how you spend your days and weeks. The decisions that you make now will have a long lasting impact on the rest of your life and the lives of your descendants as well. If you want to look up a particular topic or keyword, I would urge you to go to my YouTube channel under videos and you can enter any word right here and search for it. So if you're worried about quantum or you're worried about uh, the, trying to find the best hardware wallet or how to use passphrases, etc., or multi-sig or single sig, you can always search right here. And once you've exhausted this series of videos, I probably have uh, close to a thousand videos on Bitcoin at this point on the channel. You can look, take a look at the paid course as well, the ultimate guide to Bitcoin, where I talk about many of the things that I cannot talk about on YouTube and also the Bitcoin private forum, which is a great place to privately ask questions with a group of really committed Bitcoiners and interact with each other. I've really been enjoying that as well. But I encourage you first to check out all of the free, uh, the free resources available on my channel and obviously other channels on YouTube, all the smart stuff that's going on Twitter as well. And then when you've exhausted that and want to go a little bit deeper, check out Bitcoin University Premium, and I'll put a link in the description notes below. But the basic message here, the very, very important message, you don't have to buy my course or do anything like that. Just stop gambling and start learning however that works for you. Start building up real world skills when it comes to Bitcoin, and you'll find these skills will be incredibly useful in the coming decades. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and likes buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.